What's up everybody? It's it's a new night here at the Mazda store at Stokes Mazda and I'm super excited to bring y'all something y'all have been requesting for quite, quite some time now. And uh, we're going to take a look at it tonight. You got it. The Mazda CX-9 2017 Night Lighting Review. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, there it is. It's lit up. And I'm um, doing my best to uh, keep it dark out here. So I've parked the vehicle on the side of the dealership where not so many uh, lights from the front grounds out there will show. All right, let's get the ball rolling and take a look at this gorgeous vehicle at nighttime at Stokes Mazda. Again, this is the CX-9 all-wheel drive Grand Touring. It is absolutely fully loaded with every package possible in the United States of America. Um, the color on the outside is black, and it's got that nice-looking parchment, kind of tan-colored interior on the inside. So, you know, please uh, take your time. I, I'm, I'm working with a Canon T5i tonight with a 10 to 22 millimeter lens. My other camera right now is not available, and I usually think that one shoots a little bit better at nighttime on this but we're gonna do the best we can what what, what with what we have um, right here so let's go ahead and take the camera off of autofocus and get this bad boy focusing in so let's look at our headlight first off you're gonna notice it's got this it's all LED lighting in the headlights okay but you're gonna notice this nice little bar right there that just kind of makes it flare out and I'm telling you if you go to the dealership and see it in person it really makes a big difference but I'm doing the best I can to show it to you then your headlight right there it's got this nice little ring going around that projector and then even got a little more lighting going on right up in that area which looks pretty sweet doesn't it man what a nice setup on the CX-9 let me tell you folks I spent some time this past week with the Volkswagen Atlas okay and I'm already going to tell you right off the get-go here, and I, I, you know, I try my best not to be biased on any brand because I work with both dealerships, but the CX-9, hands down, has the best lighting setup I've seen on any vehicle right now that I can get my hands on, okay? And, uh, I mean, it's just so, it just looks so good at night. And it, and it all ha also has to do with the front of this vehicle, how that grill is set up and all. Even down here, you know, those small little LED lights right there, Looks sweet. I mean, goodness gracious, what a beautiful vehicle at night. So that's your front end right there. I got the flashers on so y'all can see that. Also, you're going to roll into LED lighting on your mirror here. You can really tell the difference. You know, if, you, if you're as old as I am, I'm 36 years old. If you can remember Cadillacs back in the day when they switched over to LED lights on those, uh, I think it was like the DeVille or something like that. You knew they were LED. They just had a different blink about them. They had a different glow. I mean, you were like, dang, man, those Cadillacs look good going down the road with those lights, right? Well, man, you got it now with your Mazdas. So I'm liking that a lot. And a lot of car brands are going over to LED. But what I'm telling you right now, folks, is like the Volkswagen Atlas over there, they put the LEDs on those headlights, didn't do it down in the uh, fog lights, didn't do it, you know, in your high beam, and didn't even add LED lights in up on the roof, okay, on the interior, only in certain little spots. It's like, man, why you got to cut corners, you know? Mazda, on the other hand, they seem to take it a whole nother level and do things right the first time. So that's why you may spend a little more, but this is just so much more of a vehicle to own. Okay, and again, this is just my opinion on it. So also right up underneath here, nice looking lighting there. Doesn't seem to be LED though under here. I do not know why Mazda didn't do that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I can tell the colors and that's more of a yellowish white color, not my favorite color on that. Does have your backup camera. Let's go ahead and open up the patch. Does have power tailgate, as you can see, which is a great feature. Yeah, those aren't LED in the top up there. Those are just regular light bulbs that go right in there. Um, when you get on the inside of this vehicle at night, though, it really is impressive. Our general manager here at the store drives this CX-9, a white one, and he looks so much like a boss riding down the road. He passed me when I was on the way to the store here today, and I said, look at my boy Bubba. He is a boss running up in that CX-9 down the road. He doesn't understand. He really doesn't understand how good he looks driving in a CX-9 going down the road. I mean, especially with that white shirt and tie, it's like, oh boy, look at this businessman right here. I tell you, came a long way, my friends and family. All right, CX-9 is looking good. Where is the lighting in the back of this truck though? Okay, is it up here? Is there a light bar up there? No, it's all the way over here. What's kind of cool is you do got a switch right there. Not LED, you know, but whatever. Not everything can be LED. You got a little lighting right there, as you can see. 
All right, let's get in where it's getting good at, folks. I won't, I won't not. I like how this is kind of right there. If my if my wording stubs up a little bit or I'm kind of roaring around, it's hot outside, folks. I've been literally on the street at car dealerships since nine o'clock this morning, talking and filming cars. I mean, literally all day long. I've done been to five different dealerships, so this is the last stop tonight. All right, whoo, man. Let's take a look at our door panel. Uh, one thing I like on here is Mazda has gone again over and beyond. They added in a LED light back here to give that accent. Very nice. Good job, Mazda. I'm loving it. Also, this has got some illumination going on with your buttons right there. I'm not seeing any illumination on your buttons right here for your memory seats or power seats, but it is really nice and, and got that chrome kind of look to it, which is great. On your interior, your seats, let's go ahead and hop in and take a look around. I'm not right now seeing lighting down here shining onto the floors. I'll know more in a second when I put my shoe down there. <clears throat> not seeing it down there, folks. I thought somebody mentioned on YouTube that it does have that, but I don't see it. All right. Go ahead and cut our blinkers off. And it is freezing in here. You know you got a good AC system. All right. Steering wheel looks great, okay? Right off the get-go. I love how these buttons light up. I mean, that's sweet. The three gauges right there look sweet. I mean, God, Ray, rev it up a little bit so y'all can see. Ooh, it's Japanese. <laughs> you know it is. Also, um, you got a heads-up display unit here. It's going to be a little tough to see that right now. I'm trying to find it. It's hard to see it. Um, one thing, oh man, yeah, you can't, you gotta get down. I'm trying to pull it up. Okay, there it is. Hold on, is that it? Let's see if we can find it. You gotta look hard, but here, I'm trying to. It's almost on top of that blue Mazda CX-5 over there. There's a, you can see a little bit. My camera lens, again, it's a 10 to 22 millimeter wide angle. It is definitely not gonna give that any justice, but it, it, it's a nice feature to have, folks, with the heads up display. Um, I love the HD screen up here. It's nice and wide, looks good. I'm liking that if you check out my night video on the CX-5, their screen is even wider, I think. Um, start, stop, engine button's in a good spot. It's not down here, I like that. I like all this going on. You know, that looks great. Again, let's focus in. Come on, Mr. Autofocus. There we go. My other camera I like a lot more because it stays in focus all the time. This looks good here. So you're gonna notice, see how this has got like a little, my hands got like a little bluish color tint? Well, basically, I've seen other brands do this. They put that little light right there that shines down. See how I'm doing that? And that gives you a little more ambient lighting at nighttime, okay? So that's that part of it. Up top here, uh, let's take a look at our vanity mirrors. Where are our lights? Okay, there we go. So again, you know, and I can't stress it enough, I'm not a fan of this yellow color lighting here, folks. They, I can't stress enough, I, I filmed a Porsche Panamera uh, that was five years old yesterday, and that car had LED light right there. It's, uh, there's a difference, folks, when, and it, I don't really care personally, because I don't need any different color lighting there, but when you go out with your wife on a date, Okay, or she owns the car and she wants to sit over here and get all prissied up before you go into Oak Steakhouse Let me tell you something That right there is gonna be a big difference for her when she's putting that makeup on women want to see their face and see a nice Natural type lighting on it. This just doesn't do your face any justice. Okay, so mr. Car manufacturer if you're watching my video come on now Do a little something for the ladies All right up top you got it. They put the, that color light in right there. My God, Ray. Look at that. They put that color light in right here. They did not over there. Why would they do that? Women aren't, nobody's going to cut that on. Well, I mean, maybe they will. But, I mean, again, why can't they just do it over there? I don't know, okay? That's just my opinion on it. Anyways, is there a light in the glove box? I'm trying to cover all bases. Got to be. Okay, that's a little... Okay, maybe they didn't see a need to put a light in the glove box. Is there a light in our center console here? Let's see. No. Okay, so maybe they didn't see a need to do that. And uh, I got to get rolling, folks. They're, clo they're closing up the dealership. They're going to close on me. This always happens. When you open up, though, look at this. 
it gets brighter in there. Those lights kind of they have a fade effect to them. Okay, there's even a little light right down here in that. That's pretty cool. Almost like a puddle light, right? And look up top, those nice white colored lights. That looks good. So yeah, that's it folks. I gotta get rolling. It's already closing time. But um, I do want to see if there's a puddle light up under the mirror here. You know, with a full-size SUV like this, they're going to need a puddle light. Nope. No puddle light. These things could come in the next year's model. Mazda, some to all car brands, they'll, they'll do stuff like this, and then the next year they might add a little something extra on, okay? So give them a little time. Thanks for watching the video. I'm Chad. I'm signing out. Store's closing. I've been out here filming for three hours now. Have a great night. We will see you soon. Make sure you subscribe online. That is so important. I told myself 2017 would be a new year in filming and doing different things. I'm doing it. I just need y'all's help by subscribing. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Oh, and one more thing before we go. Check out the backup camera. That's how bright that camera shows up at nighttime pretty nice you know i always talk about the style and how things look but also lighting is so important for safety so always remember that folks spend the extra money buy a nice car i'm telling you right now you know safety is definitely always first you know that i do want to explain that i can still talk to y'all while i'm while i'm walking into the dealership real quickly and maybe y'all could like to see the store but um safety is so important Okay, I had a um, had a family member of mine die just a month ago in a car accident. Okay, and let me tell you, they were driving an older Chevy Impala. You know that's got to be the junkiest car you could own. And someone hit them head on. And uh, my wife's brother, he uh, he made it out alive, broke his leg, and they had a they had a four month old baby in the back that made it out alive. But Lauren sitting on the other seat in the passenger side, she was done. That was it. Life was gone as we know it. So I always want to stress that to y'all to remember safety is first. As always, safety's first. I mean, when I tell y'all the dealerships are closing, I ain't joking around, folks. I mean, I'm out here filming when the dealerships are closing, okay? Like, look inside. The lights are going off. Okay, so I ain't joking with y'all. I know, you know, some of y'all live in these big cities like uh, in Florida and Atlanta and all that. Some of these car stores stay open till nine or, or 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. I'm right here at the Mazda store, they close at nine o'clock, okay? These guys want to get home, eat some dinner with the fam, okay? But while we're here and they're closing up, just want to show you how beautiful the dealership is because they got some nice, nice cars. I'm just making sure my camera bags are still over there. But um, they got some beautiful inventory. I mean, look at that. That's a gorgeous dealership. I mean, my opinion, the Stokes Mazda dealership is probably the best looking dealership out of all the Stokes stores in town. I mean, it's got the colors, the pop. They, these ladies come in here and clean up at night. Um, you got motorcycles, cool accessories. They got this awesome car thing that goes up and you can have a car showing off from there, down there. Uh, I mean, big TVs. I mean, look at the dealership. This is a cool place to come buy a car. And one of my most favorite cars in the world is the Mazda MX-5. There's the club, I think it is. Look at that. Woo! Black with the gunmetal wheels, or white with black. This is it, folks. Wow. Ooh, just get a little sneak peek. Again, anytime y'all want to watch a Mazda video, head over either to YouTube to Stokes Mazda Superstore, that's the Stokes Mazda channel that I do video for, and also on Charleston Car Videos. Go to the Mazda playlist, you will find tons and tons of Mazda videos that I've shot over the last year, two, three years. Been working with these folks since 2014. So check it out. Again, as usual, if you got any requests for me to film anything, send it on in, and as you're seeing, I'll do it. So peace out, have a good night, and always subscribe. We'll see you soon. Thanks, I'm Chad, signing out.